gender equity workshop with all the 70 young leaders. The objectives of the session were to explore a little bit on the barriers that all of them are facing in their different regions. We distributed them in different groups. They started discussing based on where they were coming from, what are the barriers the girls face in their country, not only for the participation in the sport and the access and the opportunities, but also in society at large. And then they shared back with everybody else and we started defining and seeing what were the commonalities. Some of them were very surprised because they're all coming from very different places in the world, thinking that their barriers were unique. And the big surprise was that there were way too many commonalities on girls' barriers. I learned that even though we all live in different regions of the world and come from different places, there are a lot of similarities as well as like obstacles. It was interesting seeing that women all around the world face quite similar problems. And I was actually also surprised to see how many men is like coaching women's football. I thought it would be a lot more women than men. What I have seen this morning is that there is a lot of potential within women. They are very motivated, they are very successful and very ambitious. And I can see that the future of women football and women's sport is going to be bigger than what is now. There is an army of women out there that are wanting to empower and encourage every woman to step out onto that pitch or that court or that field or whatever their sport may be. And the second thing is just the progression. I think we've seen a lot of media show that um, there's been an inequality in sport for women, but there's a progression and there's changes being happened today, tomorrow and into the future. I have for years been a coach, coaching kids in exposed areas, especially focusing on girls. And today I'm a content creator, I try to breaking the barriers there is against hijabi women footballers. We focus on improved children, boys and girls. We focus to improve their skills like empathy, communication, cooperation. We lead workshops with them and football free training sessions. We need more girls on the pitch. We need more women as coaches. So we need more women on the sidelines and we need more women in leadership positions. I think one of the most valuable takeaways of the festival is having these conversations in all the levels, so they can also, these coaches can also see and understand that there is a leadership pathway for women out there, and then facilitating the access, promoting their, their leadership, bringing more role models, will actually enable to have incredible women leaders in the future that will change the game in sport.